it's finally here. Time for me to lay out what I'm officially looking for in my next new to me RV. Are you ready to chit chat? Let's do this. Hey everybody, David, AKA RV Jedi, AKA Car V Jedi. And let me just start off by saying it is cold. It is in the twenties. I was gonna try and shoot this outside, but I have to get my car and finish this video. It is cold. Again, 22 degrees out there. Um, I just can't stay outside to do this video. So I'm back in here in my car. Um, I'm at the Olympic um, Sculpture Park here in Seattle, a beautiful place to come to if you ever get a chance. Uh, but again, very, very cold. Uh, I am excited to finally get serious about my RV search. Not that I haven't been serious in the past, but the last several months, I've shown you a whole bunch of different things. Now it's really time to narrow in on what is going to be my next new to me RV. So first things first, what type of RV am I looking for? Well, over the last several uh, months, I've shared with you all of my thoughts about various rigs. Uh, we've looked at class C's, uh, class B's, uh, we've looked at travel trailers, and even considered uh, maybe getting a minivan and converting that into uh, you know, my next recreational vehicle. But now that I've really kind of settled in and thought about everything, um, this is what I am really narrowing my search on. First, uh, a small class C slash class B. Next in that mix could be a very small class A again. And then you've got your travel trailer uh, slash towable. However, again, if I go that route, I have to look at not only uh, the new rig, but also getting a new uh, tow vehicle because my Subaru Crosstrek simply won't be able to, to carry or tow um, even a small uh, travel trailer. Um, so realistically, again, class C, class B, um, maybe a travel trailer, uh, and then also maybe a really small class A. The next thing I'm considering, and I don't care what anybody else says, size does matter. I'm looking for something smaller. My last RV, the Winnebago Sightseer, AKA the Death Star, uh, was 29 feet. And that was a nice size, it was under 30, but I think I wanna go even smaller. Anywhere from about 13 feet to 26, maybe 27. You know, if I go with a travel trailer, something like that, I'm probably closer into that 13 to 20 range. Um, but then if I go with a class C, probably into that 22 to 25 foot range. Uh, I really want something smaller than what I had before. And I understand that may mean going back to a corner cut bed, uh, maybe even no slide, uh, but I think I wanna get tiny. 
The next thing I'm considering is the condition of the RV. Now, uh, because I live in Seattle in a condo, uh, I don't really have a place to work on uh, an RV. So a full gut reno is probably not going to be something that I wanna do. You know, I did do a, a renovation on an RV, the Death Star, and I really loved it. I'll put a link to the description of that whole process uh, uh, below. But I do want something that I'm probably going to want to tweak a little bit. Uh, so unless I hit lotto and I do play, um, I, I'm most likely looking at a used RV and that's okay. It's a used new to me RV and that's fine. Something that I can do little things to, um, you know, I want to get into it, feel it out first. Uh, and get a sense of what it's all about before I decide what kind of renovations I may want to do. And also when considering condition, I don't want to go older than 1994. That would make the rig 30 years old. Um, I, I think that's okay. Um, so I would like to be no older than 1994, but if I can get in the 2000s and closer to 20, uh, 2020, uh, that would be great. And so that is also something I'm looking for when it comes to condition. And then the next big thing that I'm looking at is price. I mentioned playing lotto before. Uh, I do scratch offs. I do, uh, uh, you know, mega millions and Powerball just for kicks more so than anything. Uh, but realistically, this is probably going to be a used RV. Um, I don't have a ton of money. Um, I have some money that maybe I can move around. Uh, and if I can get something on the lower end, maybe, maybe buy it out, right? But most likely I'm gonna use whatever money that I have uh, to do a down payment and probably gonna have to finance some of it. Now, I have come to terms with the idea that I am gonna have to finance some of it because uh, you know I do want you know a relatively strong uh, RV that doesn't have a lot of problems. Uh, so for me, I'm looking at anywhere from about 12,000 um, up to maybe 30,000, maybe 35,000. The only thing that would make a big difference with this is if I got a really good deal uh, and it's most likely on a class B uh, and I could figure out the finances, then I might go over my ceiling of 30, 35,000. That's about the range I'm looking for in any RV that I pick up next. So those are the basics when it comes to what I'm looking for in this next RV. I will add one other note. Um, I'd love to find an RV close to me. Again, I'm in Seattle within driving distance to look at it and feel it out would be great. Uh, however, as I have looked online, um, you know, there are a lot of options across the country. So if the right deal came up, yeah, I'd buy outside of Seattle, uh, outside of the state, uh, find one, uh, have it checked out and then go pick it up and drive it back. So that is an option also as well as I look to whatever is gonna be my next new to me RV. Hey, that's gonna do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi, and then make sure you follow me on my website at rvjedi.com. Get out there, enjoy yourself. If you're looking for a new RV or a new to you RV, let me know what your process is. I'd love to hear more about it. And who knows, maybe we'll both find something soon and enjoy the upcoming season. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.